one of the ideas on my presidential platform that I don't think I've ever talked about is the idea of a PID. No, not a process identifier. A PID um, would be a personal identification um, data. Yeah, that's what it would stand for. And so what that is, is something that you have on your phone that um, gives your personal information in case you want to share it. So say that you um, go to apply for a job and you don't want to fill out the form and you just say, hey, can I give you my, my, my job PID? And they say, sure. And you give it to them, it fills out the form for you, you never have to fill out a job form ever again. Probably not the case, but um, you don't have to fill out um, waiter type job forms ever again because you have it on your, on your personal identification data. I don't, maybe it shouldn't be called PID. But basically what it is, it's, it's a JSON object that has um, general information about you on it. So um, the government s says, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to standardize how we store standard, standard data about ourselves. Here's the form you can fill out on the internet. So you go on the internet and there's like, there are like check boxes and um, for like commonly asked medical questions. This isn't only for applying for a job. The real, what this actually is, is a, is a standardized way to keep your medical records. And that's why, um, is, are, are the records actually stored on your phone? Actually, the records would not be stored on your phone. The, the PID is actually um, a, a key that allows you to access a server on the internet. And that server is where your data is stored. And, your, and, and that server, server has your data encrypted. And so, the, but okay. But still, the information would be stored as a JSON object because that's how you would distribute the information from that server. Or it could be XML. It can be either. It can be, I don't, I don't know, I'm sure you could do it other ways too, but we need a pretty normal way to do it, and that's why um, JSON or XML is fine. So what I'm saying is I want a standard place to keep medical records that's encrypted and it's secret, and if you get, in, if you get sick... And, so, and, and a medical professional accesses your phone because you're unconscious and they go, okay, um, can I scan for medical records? Yes, you can because you have the legal right because this person's unconscious and they, they grab your phone. They don't even unlock it. They get the key because it, it, it has your private key. It allows you to access the server where they can pull your medical records from. You don't have to call the office and say, hey, I need to, you to send over my medical records. But it's still encrypted, so you still have your privacy. Like, there's no way people are going to access it without your, your physical phone and a password unless they're a medical professional, and then they can bypass the password. Because, you, you, like, you, you can access your own medical records. You can see what's in there. You can ask for things to be removed, I'm, I'm sure. Um, maybe we cannot include psych psychology or, like, psychological medical records. Let's just include... Um, because people need to feel comfortable going to a psychologist. All right, so this idea actually came from when I was working with a major in the Air Force and a bunch of other IT people on a website. Um, the major wanted to develop a, a form-filling website where people input their information and um, it can fill forms because she'd been filling out forms for her kids all the time and, and she was exhausted by it. She was like, why can't I just fill, it, fill them out in one place? And then I came up with this idea where we were gonna do machine learning to fill out forms, um, where we're gonna, um, it's gonna fill in the spaces for us, it's gonna find where it says name because we're gonna use optical character recognition to figure out where to fill in the information. And then we all realized this was gonna be too difficult and then we ended up developing this website which would have been createadate.com, which was for like, it, it was like for like a random date generator. It was like a game for couples to use. And we ended, and she wanted to do it for kids also. Be, so we ended up doing uh, create like, like all, all different scenarios where it like gives you ideas for things to do with your kids too. But so th that's where the idea actually came from was from working with a military person. Um, I'm, I'm talking about this idea for this form filling um, 
website where like you go on there, it's like list your jobs and you fill in your jobs, list your references. Like you can actually put your, cause it's also helpful. Like it's like, it's not just for medical records. It's also for, if you want, you can put your, your employment history and stuff like that on there too. Um, but then you have, we have to say, well, can law enforcement access that? And we'd say yes, only, well, no, oh, no, no, they can't unless they have a warrant. Um, but, and that, and, and, but then you'd say, well, do you want to allow law enforcement to access that if they have a warrant? Some people won't want to use it. And then what I'd say is you have a right not to include your, your job information in there. And also you can remove the information at any time, but, um, it doesn't mean there won't be a backup because I'm sure there will be regular backups of the data. You don't want to like lose people's data. You want to have it. You have, you want to have offline backups. The real concern with keeping our medical records uh, or keeping a key that accesses our medical records on a server, but it also in accesses our job history and it also accesses whatever we want to put in there that would that people fill out all the time. Like if you're constantly filling out your kids kids information, like um, it, that it would fill it out for them because your kids would have a form on the internet unless you don't want to have it. Um, but this is, this is an optional thing. And um, one, one concern is people would have the software on their cell phone for, for the key, but then I'd say, well, we're just gonna give the, um, we're, we're just gonna make the software open source and we're, we can let companies come up with this software, with apps for it, so people can come up with their own apps. Um, but I, I know, I know, I know the, but the real concern is, all the Christians are gonna say, this is the mark of the beast. Access to my digital, digital information or my, access to my um, work history and, and medical history and stuff like that is the mark of the beast. This sounds like we're all getting chips in our arms to track us. And um, I understand where you're coming from. And I also understand that religion is gonna keep us away from progress because everyone's fear of streamlining things so that you don't have to fill out a million forms is gonna keep us from um, being a more productive society because I feel like our society spends a lot of time filling out forms. And man, we could really expedite a lot of, um, a lot of business situations by having that data available. I mean, cause like think about how, how you fill out mortgage information. Like if you're getting a mortgage on your home, um, you fill out bank information if you need a loan all the time. Like there's like all this stuff that you fill out. Um, I, and I feel like a lot of people are afraid of putting it in a, in a central location. And that's, that's the real issue is no one wants the government to know about them. But personally, I'm a security crazed person or I'm a security crazy person and I would have the form. Like I would love to have something to fill out forms for me. And that's why I would like a standardized way to, um, share that, share that information. Cause so this is not just a key to access the server. This is a key that allows you to pull data off the server. And when it comes off the server, that's when it's like in a normal format. Like it's like, and it, you could have Jason and then Jason is in a string format that's encrypted then which still, um, but all, I, I, I'm, this is, I'm, I'm getting too technical about it, but all I'm saying is this is, I, I'm, for, I'm for doing this. I think it's I think it's time to make our society way more efficient by just having like a standardized way to access data. It's not the government controlling your data. It's like a standardized way because to because like you know how you log in with Facebook, log in with Facebook, log in with Google. Um, it's it's kind of like that, um, but it's more like just a way to pull your data off the internet. Like and it comes out in a specific format that everyone is going to know what that format format is, and if they know what that format is then they can use it. Like on their website, apply for a job, uh, submit your information, and then they know that format. They know the way that the data is coming at them so they'll know how to deal with it. So that, that's what, I, mean, that's, I, I don't think normal people understand that part of the idea. All right, so let's do it.